Hi there. It's Sam from the shed here. And I'm like this because it's quite cold here. Anyway, this video is about finding an alternative to the LTC 1799, which for circuit benders is a well-known chip that we usually use to replace the crystals or, you know, to hug the clock or any, of any toy or keyboard. And since there is a shortage at the moment and they're really hard to find, I tried different options and this is the one that at the moment I like the most and I wanted to share it with you so that uh, this can be hopefully helpful for you to finish your projects. And it's based on a chip that is called the SN74LS624, which is a voltage controlled oscillator. And here's the schematics. So as you can see, I, I leave it here a few seconds, but um, I think it's quite self-explanatory. Oh, it works on five volts as well, like similar to the 1799. So here on the breadboard, I put a voltage regulator so that I don't run the risk of blasting it, basically of burning it. And it doesn't need many controls. Here there is a potentiometer, and I'm using a 100K, and capacitors. So you can put just, as you can see here, between uh, pin three and four, you can put a capacitor, and that would determine the, um, the pitch, basically, of the oscillations, so of the clock, and so the pitch of the keyboard, sorry. And here I put three capacitors in parallel, because uh, I was trying to to achieve that basically when the pot is halfway through, the note correspond uh, in any case, like whether I should I use the original clock or the or or this new oscillator. So, as you can see here, I disconnected the the blue thing that is the crystal, and I put the yellow cable. And then there is a brown cable that goes to the disconnected lug of the crystal. So I can put a switch in between and choose between the two of them. At the moment it's playing on the original crystal, so the original clock. So I'm playing the C. Now, if I put the yellow one on pin number six, six of the oscillator, it plays the same note. But then, you know, if I, let me see, I'm doing everything with one hand, so sorry if it's jittery. I think that you can tap in here, because pin number two where I connected the pot actually is connected really to number 13, but um, on number two you can uh, really influence the range of the oscillations so if I show you here the data sheet let me see it. if you can see it right this is the one no this is not the one <laughs> uh, the one is number well, where are you here you go so the, the, this first one here and number two is range and I and I think it also the range is control is voltage control so you can use control voltage to change the um, the range of the oscillations and i suspect that or actually i'm quite sure about that 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 range has to be limited to uh, 0 and 5 volts so uh, is the same range as the power supply otherwise i think you re you run the risk of burning the chip what else so yeah use a voltage regulator and this is my wiring then you might find some more creative way of achieving uh, your desired effect but you know for the purpose of this video which was to show an alternative to the LTC 1799 I think this is quite cool so here on the breadboard I put the the chip and I build the circuit with um, 100k resistor and a 100k pot there is a voltage regulator here, it's a normal one, like it's a 78L05, which allows me to uh, regulate the power supply for this chip. And the output, which is this blue wire, this goes to ground, is connected to an oscilloscope. So you can see the square wave of the clock, and 
just turning the knob here you should change the frequency here as you can see from lower frequency to higher frequency so I hope this helps all the circuit benders community uh, to overcome this shortage of semiconductors and chips available and you know you can use other 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 chips like the 4046 which is a voltage control oscillator or you know like Schmidt triggers like the 4106 so CMOS chips also actually the thing is that if this works if the voltage control works you don't need to use any vector to change the pitch for example and you can use simply the control voltage out for example of an LFO or of a sequencer remembering to put um, a voltage regulator that stops oh, hello Yamaha PSS30 so you can always put yeah a voltage regulator so that it doesn't destroy the chips the chip yeah I think that's it at the moment it's powered with 9 volts and so this keyboard the I know it's quite a cheap keyboard but <laughs> I really like it because it has these square wave sounds especially this one, the electric guitar and yeah so I'll show you something that if you replace the capacitor let's play this C here and I put a bigger capacitor the effect will drastically change now at the moment there is a very tiny capacitor capacitance is very high pitched but if I put a bigger one it should go quite low so so as you can see the pitch range like goes up and down uh, one octave so it's quite cool I think like as a as a simple mod for your keyboard or your toys and yeah let me know if you have questions or you know share your projects if you are you using this schematic? I hope that you find this helpful and uh, good luck with your projects. Bye!